All right, guys, we got this uh, Night Carnage. Now let's take a look at his nodes for a second. He's got this Energy Adoption Lightning, which means he's got a 50% chance to apply the shocks, and if he has a shock, he's going to get a regen. But it also has Heal Reversal. Um, so, uh, you know, yes, you could bring in a Shock Immune Champ. You could bring in like someone like uh, Archangel and go for the RNG to try and shut him down completely. But uh, I found Doom to be interesting because he's shock immune, and when he applies the shocks, he's going to get the regen, and the heal is going to be reversed. <laughs> so um, I think the first time I tried this one out on my other account, I don't think I recorded, but uh, I was able to actually switch his stances and made the fight super easy. Here, he was being extremely aggressive, and he never really backed up and gave me an opportunity. But you can treat him like a regular um, Nightcrawler, where if he backs up, you can um, hit him a couple times and get his timer to you know, turn over, and then he goes into swashbuckling mode, and then you don't have to worry about his evading at all. But uh, again, similar to other fights that I've done here, um, I like the sustainability um, with doing what I can just keep going in. You can see even when I do the shocks and he gets a little bit of uh, healing, the healing is actually reversed. But I don't really have the shocks up for very long to take advantage of it because uh, I'm trying to get my um, guaranteed hits in by using the mid combo uh, stud when the shock is active. So it's, uh, see here, he gets shock there with the regen active, but it's not, it's actually reversing his healing. So this is fantastic. Um, on here, uh, you know, I don't have, um, uh, I don't, I'm on my dream account, so I don't even have my roll power. So I guess you just have to, have to be careful that if you do take any debuffs, which I don't think you, you naturally do on this fight, that uh, your uh, willpower would be over. And I don't usually want run the uh, you know, damaging masteries. So, but if you are, you know, you might want to take them off for this one because then uh, if you're relying on healing up, uh, that is not going to happen in this fight. And all these long ones, I wouldn't uh, want to be taking that extra damage. So it's probably for not, you know, just damaging the, like, uh, masteries. You know, I wouldn't uh, keep those on for this one. But, uh, you know what, for me, without having it, without ever using them, I don't ever feel the difference here. But, uh, you know what, it's not necessarily always going to be the fastest fight for me, but it's sustainable, it's clean, and uh, it's the way I like to get to that. So, um, I hope you enjoy it, and we'll see you in the next one.